Alright, hello everyone, welcome to a different kind of video. Um, now, if you've been with, around my channel for like a long time, you know that I would have, that I did a game collection video back in like 2012-ish, and since by by now I my game collection has drastically changed, and the fact that that video was way too cringy for its own good, um, I decided to uh, do another game collection video and this will also give me a reason to test the webcam stuff on o OBS so uh, come tomorrow when the switch event uh, happens I'll be able to do this for that uh, hopefully oh, fine um, as for the um, qu audio quality well the audio should be okay but like the uh, webcam quality yeah, I'm sorry, but I still have this crappy webcam. Um, but I'll I'll get a new one that's actually a decent quality at some point. But as as for now, I'm just gonna have to stick with this. But yeah. Anyways, though, um, I'm gonna be starting with the PC games and all the other stuff. Like, there's t tons of stuff to get through, so let's just do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna quick fire through most of these um zoo tycoon i didn't really play a lot so i can't really say much i was more i i believe my siblings played that more uh primarily my brother but i don't really remember too much of that theme park inc um great um great distraction like it's a really fun like theme park simulator kind of thing and it has these pretty cool uh, missions, I guess, that the game tells you to do. I just wish my game didn't freeze all the time. Lego, Lego Island. Similar thing. Like, it has some pretty cool stuff in it, but my... I don't know if it's just me, or what, but my game just seems to be kind of messed up, and it doesn't really work how it should sometimes. Uh, Stronghold. Um, pretty fun strategy game, if a little bit uh, cheap sometimes from what I remember um, Lego Racers 2 really really good racing game um, one of my favorite Lego games period and I just like the worlds and stuff it's a really fun game uh, Sims 2 <laughs> it's just a fun game to mess around with I do have Sims 1 but I don't know where it is unfortunately um, Age of Mythology what this game basically um well not originated i didn't make this game um i'm just i just mean like i had we had age of empires 3 it got broken got age of age of morphology and since it's a really similar game i i don't necessarily love it i think the age of empires games are still better but it's a really really fun game uh some scooby doo uh click and point and click game uh not much not much to say about it it's just kind of okay medieval total war uh i only played this a couple of times it was decent but i remember it being a little bit buggy but i don't know if that's just my copy um more tycoon 3 no comment <laughs> i don't know a thousand games which is basically a massive collection of more than a thousand games actually but they're just bite-sized stuff but there are some actually there are actually some pretty cool stuff in there um as for other stuff um i don't know where it is at the moment um game boy color the donkey kong country and lego races the first game um i really love the first donkey kong, donkey kong country um more so in the... I, I like the Super Nintendo version more after playing that one, but um, still fantastic game, even if it is the Game Boy Color version, and it's part of my childhood. What else can I say? Um, Lego Racers, it's, it's a fine enough game, but as I've said countless times, I just don't really care that much about 8-bit racers. Um, they just don't do a lot for me. It's just turn around and go through all these similar looking raceways and not, not a lot changes it's just kind of samey but um 
Yeah, I'm just going to go up look at Steam now, because I can't exactly take them out. Um, okay, so Age of, M Age of Empires 2. Um, I haven't played, or I tried playing a bit of the campaign. Haven't really gotten uh, too much into it yet. As for the game itself, it's um, very fun. It's very similar to Frey in a, in a lot of ways, but different as well. And... Uh, I haven't played it, like, too much, like, I've, it's only seven hours on here, which is okay, but, eh, for a lot of games, it's kind of meh, especially for RTSs, but, uh, it's, it's a fun game, I like it. Age of Empires 3, I used to play this game all the freaking time, I did all the campaigns, skirmishes, constantly, and, oh man, like, the... The uh, copy I have on Steam says four hours. Don't be fooled by that because this uh, copy is relatively new, as opposed to the PC, the uh, the original PC copy I had, like all the way back in the t early two thousands, maybe. Um, that was like crazy. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was like over a hundred hours or something, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, some of these games, I'm gonna put like a huge list of the gate, all the games I have on my Steam list, because a lot of these I haven't even played before. Like my brother got them, and then he gave, because of some issues giving me generations, um, he gave me, he gave uh, me his account and made another one for himself. So, a lot of these games haven't played too much. Uh, Fez. As as uh, as much as I like the stuff I played of it, it's a pretty fun puzzle platformer. Uh, FDL, Fast and the Light, looks like a fun puzzle like strategy game thing. Not much else to say. Uh, Hammer Fight. I think I've seen my brother play this. It looks <laughs> kind of cool. Missionarium, pretty challenging puzzle game. Osmos, this is a, I really like this game, it's very simple, but that's what I like about it, it's something I can just play when I want to just cool down and relax, and it's pretty fun. Uh, Payday the Heist, don't know, haven't played it. Pool, um, really, really uh, excellent puzzle game. Um, Portal 2, mo basically the same as the first one, uh, there's a lot more to it, I love the level editor. And there's the um, uh, co-op mode, which is a ton of fun. Uh, Revenge of the Titans. I believe that's like a tower defense game. I haven't played this one that much, but I enjoyed the Blues Tower Defense games uh, growing, uh, like back in high school and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, Serious Sam games, no comment. I will get back to SA2 because um, I'll get. I'll get back to the, the the Sonic stuff because I want to save that for when I get to the console um, games. Still Storm, no comment. V V V V V. Really uh, a good like uh, puzzle platformer kind of thing, but brutally difficult. So yeah, <laughs> be be prepared when you play this game. Okay, so that's all the Steam stuff. As for other game, other um, PC games that I don't know where they are, um, there was, okay, yeah, there was The Sims 1, there was Lord of the Rings Return of the King PC, that was a pretty fun action game, um, if a little bit brutal sometimes, um, some other miscellaneous stuff, but as far as the main games go, uh, that's pretty much the main main bulk of my collection but yeah now on to the actual consoles so first off we have the ps1 and i'm going to turn change these around so it's not the sequel first um where the hell is the actual box <laughs> okay yeah there we go wait what okay it doesn't it's not showing the actual thing let me just turn this around this is stupid <laughs> It's just, it doesn't have an actual case, uh, it's just showing the manual, but this is gonna, this, that works best, I guess. Yeah, because of the crappy quality, you're probably gonna have a hard time seeing these games, but, 
Spider-Man PS1. Really, really, really fun Spidey game. Um, just get straight to the point. Uh, it's not like Spider-Man 2 movie, the movie game, where it's like open-ending and all, you do all this crazy stuff. But for what it for what it tries to do, it's an excellent Spider-Man game. Okay. Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Um, hmm. I, I like this game as well. I don't know if I like this or the original more, because this game, to be uh, completely honest, it does have some questionable design choices, but at the same time, I do like that they try to be different with this game. There's a lot of unique elements and puzzles and whatnot, so yeah, I like this game as well, but I understand the criticisms. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll just do these as well, why not? Okay, Crash 2. Excellent platformer, massive improvement over the original, it's just in every way pretty much. <laughs> Crash 3, one of my favourite platformers period, like there's so much to enjoy in this game and it's just, there's not much I can say that I dislike and I'm really excited to play this game for the channel at some point. Okay, now for N64 games. Now, okay, before I start with this, um, I just want to say I have no way of uh, using my N64 at the moment because it's just it just seems to be kind of busted. Um, it doesn't work if I connect it to the computer, the capture card, and all that, or the just or the TV in general. So don't know if there's something I've done wrong, uh, or it's like just showing its age. But um, I don't, I'm not too fussed about it because of reasons I'll get into after I finish this section. But yeah, as for the games, Pokemon Stadium. Pretty fun, uh, it gets kind of repetitive because you, you just keep doing battles, but um, for what it is, pretty good game, really uh, fancy animations, and pretty fun uh, mini game mode as well. Um, I do. I did have Pokemon Stadium 2, I don't know where it is at the moment, but considering how my 64 is broken, I'll probably just have to play it on an emulator or something, to be honest. To be fair, I didn't play it that much. I only got a few gym leaders, I think, and uh, like one uh, tournament cup done or something. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, it's a massive improvement from what I've seen. I just loved looking at all the different animations, seeing how they improved. Because Pokemon Stadium 1 had great animations. Pokemon Stadium 2 goes crazy over the top of it. It's insane. <laughs> Especially for the N64. And, um... Minigames, tons better than the, than the first. There's so much more variety. Uh, Extreme G. Really fun racing game. It's basically uh, a version, another version of F Zero in a sense. It's not as fast, but still pretty fast, and it's it's pretty fun. Ocarina of Time, great game, overrated. I still think it's overrated. Like I think a lot of the other games are better, but great game. I think it's uh, it has a lot of the stuff in it. Um, is improved in later games, but still, it does it started the whole all the foundations for fr uh, 3D Zelda games, and it did its job relatively well. Banjo Tooie, freaking love this game. If you see my playthrough of it, you'll know that I freaking love nearly everything in this game, like from the characters, the worlds, the music, the collectibles, the uh, environments. Well, that also goes with worlds, but either way, I just love pretty much everything about this game. It's so much fun to replay, um, and yeah, I, just, I don't know what else to say. Like, watch my playthrough and see how much I gush about this, because definitely one of my favourite games of all time. There are only a few games that I can uh, consistently say on a regular basis that they're my, they're my favourite games, and this is one of them. Rayman 2 The Great Escape, excellent 3D platformer, um, I haven't played this one since the Blind LP, which was like 2011 something, I don't know, 
<laughs> so yeah, it's been a while, but from what, from what I remember, really fun game. I love the amount of uh, secrets there are, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, World Cup 98. It's funny to mess around in, I guess. Hey, Banjo Kazooie. Really good game. Well, really awesome game. Not as good as Banjo Tooie, but still really, really great. And I need to take this out of the system. Because it's just been sitting there for ages. You've probably got a good close up of my crotch. That was great. Super Mario 64, I don't, okay, put your pitchforks down until I finish. <laughs> I don't like this game as much as ben the Banjo series, or Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie specifically, but this is still a really, really fun game, really excellent, excellent feeling, uh, level design, and the controls, while dated, are still a blast to go back to and I just it, it's ju it just has a nice flow uh, flow to it and it's just yeah it's just fun <laughs>